Good afternoon, my name is Tom Bowen. I'm the Director of Athletics at San Jose State University and on behalf of the San Jose State University student athletes, coaches, and staff, a very joyous season greetings and happy holidays to all of you out there in Spartan Nation for your continued support of Spartan Athletics. Today we begin kind of a, another series of the Director's Vlog, which is a series of video snippets that we've done for about the last 15 months, allowing you, the members of Spartan Nation and alumni and season ticket holders and fans and all those that are important to us a chance to hear from me from my office and in my office today kind of our position on what's going on with a variety of things that have taken place clearly we all have a media outlook and we see stuff in Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and then on the blogs of what's going on and what's not going on I have quietly been collecting questions over the last couple months from many of you who have taken the time to write to me and for that thank you and I would like to say today I'll answer what I can in an honest and transparent way and give you the insight that you have and at least informed enough to where we are and what we're doing at San Jose State Athletics. One of the questions that's been on everybody's mind, I think, since about the beginning of uh, January of 2011 has been what will happen in conference realignment, what will happen with the Mountain West Conference, the Conference USA, the Western Athletic Conference, and a variety of other BCS conferences, the ACC, Southeast Conference, the Big Ten, which is now the Big 12, the Big 12, which is now the Big Ten, and that constant Big East dynamic that we don't really have an answer to. Well, today I can share with you the fact that San Jose State University and President Kiyomi and myself and my senior management team have been working diligently in preparation if there was to be a conference realignment invitation extended to San Jose State University. Back in October, we began to meet pretty consistently as a senior management team with the president and his leadership to begin the process of what it would mean if we were invited to go join another conference, and in particular, this one being the Mountain West. We have put together a very strong positioned presentation and paper that was submitted to Craig Thompson, the commissioner of the Mountain West, in November, and we were received warmly by the Mountain West fellow ADs that I know and the fellow presidents as well. At this point, we now wait to see what the directors and the presidents of the Mountain West Conference and Conference USA decide to do with their current proposal. But as of today, December 12th, we are not in any position and have not received any official invitation from any conference affiliate. Board of Directors of Conference USA will meet again with the Board of Directors with the Mountain West and determine whether or not they're going to create a merger. We anxiously await that decision to see what would happen should expansion take place. We here at San Jose State University cannot spend every day anticipating and waiting for a phone call or a letter or a moment. What we do now is continually build our program and build our student athlete accountability both in the classroom and in the competition. And would tell you that we're pretty excited about the academic successes that we've had in the fall. It's been an outstanding fall in the classroom for our teams. And the fall competition was exciting at times and somewhat disappointing in the end results where we thought we would have had better records, obviously in football and volleyball. But we were very proud of our men's soccer program that had an unparalleled move this year and made it into the conference tournament for MPSF. And we're looking forward to the women's soccer team to regroup and come out strong next year. And on that note, we want to congratulate Coach Augie Ogbright, who announced his retirement, has retired as our director of cross country and has served as the women's head cross country coach and the men's associate head coach during his tenure here over the last decade. Please join me in congratulating Augie on his retirement as he begins a new chapter in his life. As we continue to move forward in the Western Athletic Conference, we are very committed to what that will mean in 2012 and beyond. And our teams and our coaches and our student athletes are working diligently to enter that new conference with an eye on the prize and being conference champions in all that we participate in. And behind the scenes is the team behind the teams, and that's you. That's all of you of Spartan Nation that have continued to show incredible generosity in these economic times that are somewhat difficult for many and very difficult for few. But all of you have come forward and given freely of your resources, support, time, involvement, and your dollars to keep us moving forward as a foundation and as a department. And for those of you that are waiting to be a part of the Spartan Athletic Foundation, I say now is the time and we surely could use your support. So as the end of the year approaches and you look to all of your seasons of giving and the nonprofits that you want to consider, please consider supporting Spartan Foundation. As the month of December continues and we move towards the holidays, we also get excited about the two programs that are currently playing in competition in the Western Athletic Conference. That is our men's basketball program, coached by George Nesman, and our women's basketball program, coached by Tim Lacoste. Please take a moment and review the schedule that we will show you and come join us and come be part of the Spartan excitement in the event center on campus. 
One of the questions that was brought to my attention over the last couple months is scheduling a non-conference competition in all sports. It is a very deliberate, conscious effort made by my entire senior team and our head coaches and the university's well-being as well. And one of those real benefits has been our agreements with the United States Naval Academy, which will then follow with the United States Military Academy. I want to thank all of you for being here the day that the United States Naval Academy appeared in Spartan Stadium, a first in the history of this program, and encourage all of you to continue to support us as next year we go to Annapolis and continue the win streak. I would say to you that football scheduling is an art and not a science, and right now we feel we've put together over 2012, 2013, and 2014 some of the best non-conference scheduling possible. Beginning in 2013, we will renew our long rival with Fresno State University. In 2013, Fresno State University will journey to Spartan Stadium and we'll give them a very warm welcome. And then we'll return back to Fresno State in 2015. So it's going to be a, a continued rival that we have at San Diego State, which we start next year at San Diego State. On some other news in spring sports, I wanted to share with you some of the most exciting news that's happened in a very long time at San Jose State Athletics. Our women's swim team is now ranked second in the country in mid-major and 19th overall in NCAA Division I swimming. And two of our swimmers have qualified for the pre-Olympic trials. Also, women's gymnastics appears to be positioned to have an incredible spring season. I encourage all of you to go out to the pool or the SBX and cheer on our Spartan women as they compete for national prominence. Again, I want to wish everyone in Spartan Nation happy holidays and a joyous season of giving. Thank you.